Hello, good morning, and welcome to Raglan. We have just pulled into Raglan right now, which is like a surfy little beach town here in the North Island of New Zealand. And I have to be honest, we are not having the best weather today. When we left the mount this morning, it was so beautiful. The sunrise was coming out, all of these beautiful pink colors, clear skies. And the closer that we got driving into Raglan, we started to experience more fog, more mist, and the visibility was actually like terrible at one point in the drive, I swear we couldn't see like 10 feet in front of us. What can you do? You can't control it. So alas, let's go see what Reglan has to offer. So we were recommended to go to Reglan Rose and the coffee smells incredible. And there's a long line, even though it's just like a little kind of hole in the wall sort of looking shop. It's not like a big storefront or anything, but we're very excited to give it a try because the coffee smells so good from out here. It's a full board, Caballero. Super twisted, but that's why it's on the wall. This coffee is really good. This dog over here is so cute. He's got like, these droopy eyes. He looks adorable. So we stumbled into the Stoned Cow, um, which is a little cafe here. They have breakfast, brunch, soups, pastries, that kind of thing. We were still actually finishing up our coffee and then we realized that there was a, a bit of a wait to get a table here. But we found a table. We have ordered their little vegan breakfast. They have like a regular size and then a smaller size. We ate before we left Taronga this morning, but we're doing something very exciting soon. So we want to make sure that we're fed for it. And this place is so cute. Lots of like really colorful art on the walls. Usually the like classic breakfast option I'm pretty sure is bacon and eggs. So the vegan breakfast option is smoky pulled jackfruit and marinated mushrooms as well as this kind of like potato hash brown kind of thing. And each little breakfast was $14 each so for the two it was $28. If you know us, you know we love a good second-hand store. First thing that comes up is ULO here in Raglan. And it looks like they have lots of second-hand stuff, vintage stuff, and like records. Let's go in and check it out. They have so many good hip-hop records here. It looks like there's one skate shop here in Raglan as well called Wrong Skate Shop. And of course, I've got to go check that out. All right, so we just got to the beach and we just checked in with our teacher because today we are going to be taking a surf lesson here in Raglan and I am so excited, like over the moon excited. He told me earlier that today is gonna be like perfect weather for surfing, so I can't wait. When we were coming up over the hill and we saw the beach, like you can see behind me here, our jaws just like dropped. This looks insane. We we're also reading online that Raglan is famous for left-hand break that you can ride for like two kilometers. I, I can't wait to do this. Even from up here, they look kind of big. <laughs> I always said if I was gonna surf that, I was like, I feel like I need a slightly bigger wave to like push me along. Otherwise I get up for like a second and then you just kind of fall off. But these, these might be a little too big. <laughs> Now until today, Nick and I have never properly surfed before, so the first part of our lesson was learning how to stand on the board and pop up. And my one goal of the day was to stand up at least once. Honestly, it took a while. <laughs> But I clumsily got up multiple times. Yeah. Shout out to Rock, our instructor from Raglan Surf School. We had so much fun. Okay, I have to be honest, I am loving Raglan, like loving, loving, loving it. But, and this is obviously just like a me thing and a dietary thing, but we just walked around for like 10 minutes um, trying to find a place that is open and that would have a plant-based meal for me. Don't get me wrong, when you look on Happy Cow, there are loads of uh, different plant-based options here. We were gonna go to Little Mex, which is a uh, burrito place that has smothered burritos and they looked so good, but it was actually closed. And because it's 3.56 right now, a lot of things are closed. It looks like a lot of lunch places close around like 2.30 and then all the dinner places open at five. So we're kind of in this weird limbo time right now. So thank God I packed a peanut butter sandwich in the car. Nick, on the other hand, was really excited to get fish and chips here. At least Nick is really excited. Yeah, thank you. And so we're at this little takeaway spot. Raglan Fresh Fish. 
and maybe I'll snag some of his fries. All right. Got some fish and chips. Let's see. It's like Christmas. Whoa. Dude. Table for one. I'm gonna stop for a little coffee in this store. Oh, I would have gotten a pie if I knew they had them here. There's some blue sky poking out. We're gonna make the most of the light while we can and check out Bridal Veil Falls, which is just outside of Raglan. We said this about the Catlins as well, about how like jungly it was when we were walking through some of the trails. And this is literally no different. It's, it feels like a jungle. So we're at the upper viewpoint for Bridal Veil Falls. Rachel has sore feet and I have a really sore ankle from surfing. So we probably won't walk all the way down to the base, but you get a pretty incredible view from right here. It's just like a 10 minute walk from the car park. And then once you get here, it's like 10 more minutes down to the base of the falls. All the signs were saying that it's not safe for swimming, which sucks because just looking at this, all I wanna do is go stand under the falls. That's like the number one thing that I wanna do. So before we show you where we are going tomorrow, we actually just pulled into a parking lot because we are about to do another kind of nighttime waterfall hike. And we're not meaning to do this, by the way. I think just because it's winter in New Zealand and the days are a little bit shorter, we're trying to pack our days and see as much as possible, but the days are shorter. So you get to your hike, next thing you know, it's 4.30, but we're gonna go anyway, thanks to the sponsor of this video. Let's go check out this waterfall. After three years of van life, and eight months of car camping and exploring all of the beauty that New Zealand has to offer, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. The very first purchase that we ever made at the start of this journey was a headlamp. And that's why we're so excited that this video is sponsored by Night Buddy. Okay, no really, let us nerd out a little bit though because this 230 degree hands-free headlamp has five brightness modes, including a red light mode that does not attract any insects. It's also obviously very lightweight and compact, so it's really easy to pack around on all of our adventures. And now that you know our secret that we are headlamp super fans, you would know that we do bring a headlamp on all of our adventures. So if you wanna do the same and you want your first Night Buddy headlamp, use our code NOTLUX at checkout for 10% off. Today we are going to check out the Fakatane Sunday Market, which is a total coincidence. When we looked it up, there happened to be a Sunday market that runs till one o'clock. So we're very excited to check that out. So it's like a standard sort of market. They have clothes, they'll have food, trinkets, jams and honeys, just like a standard sort of market that you'd find maybe in your hometown. So with that being said, let's go check it out. And of course, no good market would be complete without live music. The problem is I don't really wear like two ear. I mean, I have a whole bunch of earrings on the one ear. I don't really wear earrings in this ear. I feel like these are cute. Yeah. Ooh, these might match the dress that I'm getting for Fiji's wedding. I wonder if they fit or if they would just totally clash. I think it'd be a good one. Thanks so much. Thank you. you have Got these ones? And these ones. Ten dollars. So they were closing up shop, but thankfully I was able to get in and get pumpkin poke. I actually think you'd really like this. I don't eat dairy. Oh yeah. It's really nice. So while Rachel and I were walking through the market, I saw somebody selling traditional food from the Cook Islands. So I ordered poke, which was $5, and I got pumpkin. So what we learned was that poke is actually a traditional Cook Islands dessert that is made from overripe bananas or pumpkin. And it's kind of mixed with like milk and arrowroot and coconut milk and all kinds of other things. If you've watched this channel for long enough, you know I'm not a huge dessert fan. I don't really like pancakes and cookies and pies and cake and waffles. So if I had known that this was what Cook Islands poke was, I probably would have steered away from it. But I'm actually very glad that I got it because it was quite mild. It wasn't super sweet and it was very savory and it was chewy and it was actually really, really good. I'm, I'm very glad that I got this. 
We were just walking by Robert Harris here and the coffee smelled so good that we were literally just walking and not planning on coming in here at all. And then we just somehow swerved in and here we are. We just ordered two coffees. Um, we're actually gonna get lunch pretty soon here, but I figured that we'd walk around the town before we go find somewhere to eat. And what's a better way to walk around town than with a coffee in hand? I feel like it's just like a necessity at this point. So we just walked through the main strip through town and Rachel and I were just kind of laughing because a lot of the businesses are closed on Sunday and we've done a lot of traveling. We've seen a lot of places that are, they never sleep 24 seven they're open or places like here where it's like every Sunday, pretty much everything's closed. So anyways, we decided to take a stroll down to the visitor center here and we are overlooking the marina, I guess. And I actually recently just took a job where I'm cleaning super yachts and I was just telling Rachel, this one behind me, the one that says Malachi, is like almost identical to the first one that I cleaned. And it's a pretty interesting job. You have to get up on the roof, basically like scrub down the whole boat. I'm super stoked that I have this job, especially because Rachel and I have been recently talking about maybe moving over to Europe in the Mediterranean sort of area. So for me to get a job here cleaning super yachts and maybe kind of get my foot in the door. But anyways, for now, I'm enjoying the job. and I think it's a cool experience to have. I love this water in a wine glass with coffee mugs. That's how you know the food's gonna be fire. So we're here at the Viet Eatery. We ordered a veggie pho and a veggie bun mi, and we're gonna split both of them. We actually saw this place online, and thankfully it was open today because everything on, I think it was Commerce Street, everything on the main road was closed. And we walked by this one place that had Vietnamese food, and I was like, oh, I would love some Vietnamese food right now. So I'm so glad that we found this. I was just saying to Nick, I don't even remember the last time I've had pho. It's like one of my favorite foods. I mean, we definitely haven't had it since we moved to New Zealand. Like in Vancouver, we get it all the time. It's on the rotation. This is delicious and it's so affordable. Guys, I literally just said that about the pho and then I realized Moments later, I literally just got pho in Wellington and filmed it and there's video evidence. But we are just walking here to Ohopi Beach. And guys, trust me, I am really, I just listened to a video maybe 30 or 40 times to try to understand the pronunciation. But this beach right here was actually voted by Kiwis as New Zealand's most loved beach. And this beach is so vast, it's so big. Don't take shells from beaches though. That's somebody's home. Whenever I see a shell, I kind of think about my old boss because at my last job, I was talking about van life because for those who are like new to our channel, you may not realize that Nick and I lived in a van for three years. I was telling my boss about it. He's like, oh, like I used to live in a van back in the day. He's like, I loved it because I always felt like I was like a turtle carrying my shell with me everywhere I go. That is totally like van life. Van life is like carrying your shell with you everywhere you go. Wow, this is beautiful out here. Look at this. I mean, surely people swim in here in the summer, but it seems like the tide is so far out right now. Oh my God, cool, Nick. This is a Kiwi zone. That's not cool, but look, this is a Kiwi zone, so that's why you're not allowed to have dogs. We are trying to find the lookout, but I wonder if it's down here. Look at this, I wasn't expecting this. This is cool. Whoa, this is beautiful. So we heard that near the main beach, there is a bay that you can walk to and we didn't really know exactly what to expect. So we just parked our car kind of in a residential area and started walking down the set of stairs. You can hear all of the birds and the light is just coming through all this beautiful foliage. So we're actually not sure how long this walk is. God, it's pretty in here. So it took us about 10 minutes to hike down. It's pretty steep at some points and there are quite a few stairs so we're kind of dreading the walk up. That being said, if you are able to walk down here, this is 
so worth it. There's really not many people on the beach. There's this really cool like rocky section behind me. And the spot that you walk down the stairs to is this sandy beach. It feels very secluded and almost like a little kind of paradise down here. It feels like what I would imagine you would wake up to in Survivor. Yet again, New Zealand does not disappoint with these beautiful hikes and beautiful beaches. And after another week of exploring New Zealand, we are now getting settled into our next house sit. For those who don't know, we are house sitting back to back on the North Island for four months, and we have a lot more to see. So we'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.